How's it going, everybody? Rob here, back with another video. And, well, we are going to look at another episode, or at least do another uh, episode review for uh, The Last of Us um, Season 1. And, oh my gosh. So, I guess, to kind of first talk about this, um, I want to talk about... So far, what we've seen, like, towards the beginning of the episodes. Um, with the first episode, we had uh, the show host interviewing the scientists. With this one, we have um, a, a female scientist in Indonesia who's uh, called in to investigate. And I'm sure, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess this is, like, around the same time that the, uh, the infection starts to happen. Uh, this uh, female scientist is... Um, called in to look into a possible outbreak and realizes really quickly how how much in danger they are or at least everyone is even going as far as to like say hey this isn't going to be stopped what we need to do is just bomb the whole city and um because that and i think in their minds that's probably the only way that this is gonna be quelled is by basically just wiping the city from existence. But, as you know, that doesn't happen. Um, our characters are escaping from the uh, QZ. Now, uh, what's interesting is for the, 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 the way they kind of change up the story, because for the game, they introduce the clickers, or at least in this episode, they introduce the clickers too, but... Um, in this one, or at least this episode, instead of the first introduction of the clickers being at the uh, the destroyed buildings for one of the levels, as it was in the game, um, or at least one of the tilted buildings that you're in, uh, they decide to introduce the, the clickers in the museum, which is one of the last locations you, end, you go through before reaching the, uh, the checkpoint. Um, so that was, I will say, very, very interesting. Um, we have a little bit of back and forth between, uh, Joel and Ellie, as well as, uh, Ellie and, uh, Tess, which was a lot of, a lot of fun to watch. Um, we get introduced to the clickers, which, by the way, clickers look nice. The, the clickers were really cool looking. Um, as well as some of the other infected. Um, this episode, they kind of introduced something that wasn't really present in the the show, or the, the game, I should say. And that's this whole, uh, this whole scenario where apparently the, uh, the wire, or the, the strands of the cordyceps reach, like, miles away, and in a sense, these, the infected, or at least the infected that are infected by the cordyceps um if let's say if if somebody is walking on one strand of cordyceps then any infected nearby like let's say a couple blocks away would possibly feel it and be basically pulled into going into that location where you know the strand was uh affected so that was uh fun <laughs> To watch when uh, they do end up end up, end up co coming across uh, the dead uh, fireflies, only for one of them to be infected, and, and it's after they kill it, you see these strands coming out of the earth, touching its skin, and then finally um, the infected proceeding to run to the uh, the uh, city hall building, and we also get our our sacrifice of Tess. Only they they kind of went uh, for a different route with this one, where instead it, it was like because originally they set it up where Fedra was showing up to uh, to kill anyone that was either related to the Fireflies or anybody who was just you know around there. Um, so instead of that, we have the infected showing up and uh, Tess, you know with. Joel realizing that she's infected 
um, ends up sacrificing herself. She takes a bunch of, uh, um, I, I would sue, I would, I'd probably guess gasoline drums where it's, or, you know, the big old canister drum things. Um, and basically starts pouring all of the gasoline on uh, the floor. And at one point, all the, the, the infected show up and she proceeds to blow them up. Now, uh, there's a point where you see this one zombie or this one, uh, Cordyceps. I'm gonna call it Cordra. Um, that after, after they all show up, they just kind of calm down a bit. One of them walks up to Tess, starts coughing up the tra the strands and proceeds to infect her even further, which I gotta say that sucks for Tess. I don't know how I, 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 and I will say this too, I don't know how I feel about this death. Um, they kind of went, like, like, overall, overhauled it, so to speak. Whereas, like, for Fedra, or the Fedra one, and I'm not saying, by the way, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Because um, initially, you had the cutscene, Tess sacrifices herself, off camera, um... And, like, the old last thing you see of her is, like, um, as you're going through the City Hall building. And you just see her uh, while you're standing on top of the stairs, just seeing her lifeless, dead. That's it. There's nothing else of Tess after that. Um, but for this one, she ends up sacrificing herself to take out a huge horde of infected, which was pretty cool. All in all, I will say this was a, you know, a decent episode. Um, a lot of things, of quite a few things changed from the original game, but I, at this point, I'm kind of wondering if I should just kind of think of it as its own universe, so to speak, but we'll see. I, I kind of wish they did still have the confrontation with the, uh, clickers towards the, uh, for the, uh, like in the buildings, the tilted buildings. That would have been really cool of a setup, especially when you have, uh, the infected, you know, being distracted by, you know, bottles. That would have been really cool to implement, but I guess not. Either way, that's... Anyway. <laughs> With this, I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a uh, 8 out of 10. Um, I will say that there are some changes I like, some changes I didn't. Um, and it was a decent episode. It really was. So, anyway... I think I don't have anything else I need to add other than, you know, um, please check it out if you guys haven't. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on uh, any of our socials, it's all in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novacast signing off. Have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you guys next video.